So I'm over at our new Weybridge site. I thought I'd do a quick tour as always. So I'm just dropping off kitchen bits and pieces at the moment. Got big office space here to be. We've got little spaces dotted off to the side. This weird massive art storage rack thing is coming out. So if anyone wants one of these, let me know. Bits to fix, ceiling holes, leaks, etc. Nice big open plan area, desk rental, chop it up. And then we put a new kitchen in down the back. It's a nice little kitchenette going in here. Little office space with not a window in there. Then we've got a whole load of cool little office spaces, private office spaces, which were obviously inky high of the whole site. Uh, bang in the centre of Weybridge. I'll do a shot from outside in a second. Let's have a look out the window. Not the best view out the back. Yeah, cracking spot. And we'll go outside in a second, get a bit of video downstairs and uh, show you the rest of the building. Comms cabinet, nice and messy. Just how we like it. So we'll sort that out as well. Got aircon, in fact the whole building, the whole unit's got aircon up in the ceiling. It's yeah, quite a big space, pretty cool. And um, a few floors of the building. In fact, next door, I'll just whiz around there. Another big open plan space, which if we fill up next door, we've potentially got to use as well. We are right above Waitrose, which in my world is ideal for lunch. So again, huge open plan spaces here. It's really cracking. And we are bang in the middle on Weybridge High Street. It's a really nice location. Not a huge amount of parking here, but you know, most people don't really worry about that anymore. It is a spot on Inky Hive. And um, I'll keep you from posted on updates as we start. So up at Hursley in the brewery, um, which we sort of kitted out bits and pieces. Um, we've got a new brewer starting. It's all the kit sort of in here. I'm just wiring in all the electric ring main. We've got this awesome new um, jacketed SS Brew Tech. Uh, I think it's one barrel, 100 litres or so. Um, fermenter, conical fermenter. We'll get a second one as well. Sinks all plumbed in. Got to finish with the wiring, so we sort of half finished it. Got busy doing other things as ever. Uh, but I'm going to try and get it all finished shortly now so we can open it and properly start brewing in here with uh, all the new rig bits and pieces. So, quick update as always on the brewery this time. We've been doing quite a bit of work on this to finish it off. Obviously, got the brew rig in, the um, control panel. All now works, wired in, solenoid valves, the lot. So that all's done essentially. We've put in the ring main, 32 amp supply for the brew rig. So the ring goes all around. We've also got this brand new uni tank fermenter. Hopefully getting a second one of those. So we have two on the go. Um, and just next bit, we're putting in uh, the feed for the uni tank which will cool and warm it. Tidied up, cleared a lot of the rubbish out. There's actually a brew in the um, fermentation fridge, which I built. It's got a heater at the top, keeps a constant temperature as required. And um, Ralph, our new head sort of brewer, um, has started in here and we'll be looking after the brewery. I'll drop in a few shots of the brew he did yesterday. He did a little uh, chat as well, so I can drop that in. And again, our update in due course. I'm, Ralph, sure. I'm brewing here at uh, the Inky Hive Brew Keepers, and today we're brewing Busy Bee. Um, it's going to be a nice, uh, I would describe it as uh, probably a session uh, pale ale, uh, which has been double, well, it will be double dry hopped by the time we get to that stage. Just finishing the brew now, doing a hop stand um, or whirlpool, uh, and yeah, I think it's going to be good. Awesome. 
So I mentioned in a previous video quite a while ago about the uh, 737 plane I'd acquired. It's taken um, about three months to try and organise it. I sort of gave up trying to move it essentially. Uh, but luckily the owner actually was involved with haulage. I left it to them and um, it actually got delivered to site the other day. And it's here. So it's absolutely whopping as you'd sort of expect for a plane. It's a 737-200 I believe. Doors open. It's got the cargo hold underneath. It's boarded up at the end, which we'll redo. We'll build a deck, bits and pieces on the end of it. Um, probably respray it as well. I'll open it up in a sec and we'll go inside. But I'll drop in a video of it landing as such. It was quite a, a mission to get this in. see every day that's for sure it's pretty different in my world this is pretty awesome I mean, it's a humongous plane sat in the garden which is cool to me um, but then to tidy up all around the groundwork let's get this all sorted out um, and then inside deck it out potentially sort of Airbnb style and um, yeah get it looking funky I'll take the side down and we're climbing and have a look. So I've taken the side off the back of it. So we can climb in. Um, underneath, I've got to see, it's a bit dark. It's just full of rubbish currently, building materials, all sorts of bits. That's actually the cargo bay hold. I'm sure I'll clear that out shortly and show you. And if we climb up the ladder, carefully. Clamber in. Well, it's actually a plane, fully kitted out as a plane, I suppose. All the seats are in. See, I've got the cards, bits and pieces, overhead lockers. We've got exit there. Doors will work open. All sorts of storage bits and pieces. There's a computer, tannoy system. So this was previously used at Chichester College for training. Um, so it's been down there for maybe 15 years or so. Um, but, uh, it's got loads of seats in it, monitors, the works really. It's also got a loo, which I'll get all functioning. A little hand base in there as well. Obviously we're wiring all the lights, bits and pieces. Cockpit. Fairly stripped as standard with a decommissioned plane. We're we'll bored with this up, maybe put some um, some fake sort of decals on it so it looks like instruments. But got all the fuse reset bits and pieces. There's actually an oxygen mask down there. I've not really had a rummage around properly as to what's in here, but I think that probably goes. I don't know if that goes there or somewhere else, maybe up top. Um, windows are just perspex been replaced, so I'll swap them out. Um, they're leaking currently. Get those all replaced, looking cool. Uh, I'll see it there. What I'll probably do in the cockpit is make it into a little bit of an aircraft simulator. So we'll stick an Xbox in with some monitors, put in a couple of bucket seats, and then you can sit in there. And uh, fly a plane, I guess. And uh, what else is there? Got the seats there. Got the big door here, which I think is sort of locked or sealed at the moment. It says it's sealed. This door opens over there. Got all sorts of bits and pieces kicking around. I've yet to really have a proper rummage in it all. Um, yeah, completely nuts really. It's the front part of a plane. I'll drop in a link to what 
plane this is it's history i found online sort of dig up where it's come from where it's been uh, with plane spotters as a sort of thing a hobby i guess but um yeah plan is roughly we'll keep the loo we'll probably put a little shower unit in a little kitchenette and then we've got room for sort of a double bed so we'll use some of the chairs for sort of seating area and then in the hold below um we'll probably put a a sort of staircase in or maybe it'll be outside and that'll be some more bed space underneath and um yeah get this all converted and see what happens so no doubt i shall vlog as we convert it and keep everyone posted on my weird and wonderful sort of things i get up to yeah we've uh, put a 737 in the garden